So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. Righto. Tell the OD champs now. Today we're going to test if the latest BIOS and the XPS 15 has fixed latency issues and is the XPS 15 good for audio production now? Well, the long story, or the short story should I say, is yes, it is fine. Look, all yellow, all yellow baby. You can see I'm talking real time, real time, coming up real time. This is 128 buffer and actually I'm testing this with a USB mic. This is a USB condenser mic and it sounds good actually. This mic here, $65. Moana mic, it actually comes with a kit. And even just the microphone stand that comes with this kit, has a pop filter as well, is worth $65 alone. And you can listen to the sound now. It sounds pretty good. And we're getting, uh, look, if you have a look here, how clean is the audio in there? You can see how clean the audio is and it's good audio. So I will leave a link in the description to this mic. I will also be connecting it up to an audio interface and I'll be using the XLR mic as well. All right, so if you don't know, what we're looking at here is an audio door. So I'm recording straight into this. Actually, where is the recording? Yeah, it's, it, it's real time. You can see, look, woo! You can see all the spikes, they're real time, okay? I hope I didn't deafen you then. But anyway, you can see, as long as it doesn't go into the red, it's fine, okay? Now, when I connect it to the audio interface, you will be amazed. Now, that's using ASIO drivers, but you will be amazed how good this is for audio production now with this latest BIOS because I could get it down to a buffer size of 32. And that's well, it's around sort of 2 milliseconds. We're talking Thunderbolt 3 sort of latency there. Latency unheard of. And just to give you an example of what I mean, MacBook Pro, if I record with my Claret interface, 128 buffer size, it will play up every now and then. Whereas this, this XPS 15 with that Arturia, I think it's called an Arturia Audio Fuse, I haven't actually tested that on the Mac, to be honest. So maybe that equipment is just insane, but I could get down to a buffer size of 32, unheard of. So this is just plugging into a USB mic now. I'm gonna actually plug it into the audio interface in a sec and you'll see minus 32 buffer of course it's good for audio production because it's not making much noise at all i can just barely hear the fan and i'm recording and it's actually is it fully charged at the moment yeah, it's fully charged at the moment but it was charging not long ago and yes you see one spike there i wouldn't worry about a little spike there that's actually when i just touched the thing there i would say that's when it happened um, I'm not worried about that, and especially if you go to the ASIO drivers, a couple of bars coming up now. Okay, that's interesting. Well, you're listening to the audio. Is there any issues with it? Still looks like it's real time there. It looks like as soon as I say something, yep, yeah, it's coming in with no latency there. Now, of course, with plugins and stuff like that, it may be different. You know, I don't know. Like the machine is definitely capable. It's fast enough for producing audio. Um, sorry, music and stuff with plugins and that. The speed of it is really good. So you're going to get, even if you get the i9, it's going to scream, nice single core performance, nice multi-threaded performance. It's going to be a really beast for audio production now that they have fixed it with the latest BIOS. Let's get in and do some other tests with an audio interface and see how low we can get that buffer and how sort of it's nearly real. When you're getting down to like 32, you can't tell the difference. It's almost instant like yeah the latency is so low that it's not even worth worrying about so anyway let's get into it and have a look all right so i'm bringing up both latency monitors up so i'm using the asio driver now look at that all in the green i'm liking that now let's see 64 now this may pop crackle 64 is the ultimate test if it can record at 64 that is amazing all right let's see Let's start recording. We'll see how we go. Uh, we want to record in mono and 32-bit, why not? Hello, look at that. Real time, baby, real time. And let's, I'm going to have to listen back. I will play back this audio to see if it actually is crackling or popping. But usually you'll be able to see it, like you'll be able to see the crackling, crackling and popping. So it looks okay looks like 64 buffer this is like 
real time. As soon as I speak, it comes up straight away. Now, maybe there's a bit of delay through the um, actual capture. So I'm capturing this on another PC. And that's another thing, right? So I'm going through USB as well. So that can mess with the audio as well. And you can see here, look at that. Oh, yes. This is the one now. I think this is the one. The only one that's staying in the green the whole time. This is with the ASIO drivers. I'll show you later with um, without the ASIO drivers. But this Alturia actually might be all down to this king. This is the king for audio interfaces. Just trust me. It's expensive. But it is the best, man. Like so many imports. It's replacing like a mixer. It's replacing everything. You're going to be able to hear this footage um this uh, audio and see if it clicks and pops hope it doesn't i think this is the one now for audio production um yeah that is awesome that is amazing recording straight in xps 15 for the win Woo! i don't expect it you're going to see at 64 it doesn't no problem and that's sort of unheard of in sort of with the audio interface now we'll review this soon i'm going to put it down to 32 I think we're going to have issues at 32, but tell me, you know, if you're an audio person, 32 buffer there, that's like so low. And we're talking through USB interface here. This ain't a Thunderbolt. This is USB. So let's see if it works. All right, Mono, let's go, baby. Oh, yes. I expect some crackle, some hiss, some pop. Is it happening? You can see it's actually real time. As soon as I talk, boom, straight away. It is um, registering that in the door. Um, it is amazing to see it come up with no lag whatsoever. Do we have the lag monitors? Where are the lag monitors? Um, audio latency. Let's bring those up. While I'm recording, mind you. So um, see what we get here. What do we get? Oh, nice and low. Oh, oh, oh. This is amazing. It's actually like it's instant. Like I cannot detect any lag whatsoever. I reckon there's some pops and cracks there. It looks a bit weird, the audio now in the waveform. I think the 64 bit is caught up with it. The, sorry, the 64 buffer. Or was it 32? Let me check. Yep, so I'm continuing to record. I think if I'm looking at this waveform around here, that looks a bit weird. So I think um, 32 was a bridge too far. But now, actually, no, it looks okay. Maybe it was okay. I'm not sure. But now I've just switched it to 64. I know 64 works, which I've never had that in the laptop before. I know the audio fuse um, interface, the audio interface is amazing. It's probably due down to that. It's probably due to that as well. So anyway, catch you next one. Tally ho.